It's been a minute since I've been at Dollar Tree. Well, about a month. Let's go head into Dollar Tree and see what they're stocking their shelves with. Yep, today I am heading into Dollar Tree. I wanna see what new items Dollar Tree has on their shelves, the holidays, are over and this is about the time of year where Dollar Tree really starts to stock their shelves with some fun new crafting supplies, new items. And so I'm hoping that just by walking through there, I'm gonna gain some inspiration, some much needed inspiration and show you some of the items that you should most definitely be keeping your eye open for at your Dollar Tree. So let's go take a look and let's go inside. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna jump right into some of my favorite, favorite finds. This end cap here was gold. Would you look at these chalkboard, what are these, like garden stakes? And all of the amazing blank wood plaques that Dollar Tree is carrying. These new beads with tassels, these tags, with the beads on them. I'm finding all of these items in three different colors, the black, the natural wood, and white. Oh my goodness, loving this piece here. Adorable, and look at these, blank canvases. And what about these chalkboard farm animals? So many things you can do with this stuff. These are just kind of like a wood block, I guess. They came in three different colors. These easels. Oh my word, I am feeling the inspiration here. Down here at the bottom, I found them in the three, oops, different colors. I was loving the whitewashed one. So I picked up several of these because I've got a DIY in mind for them. And we've seen these gingham houses. Would you look at these tags? Three of them, yeah, three of them come in a pack. I found several different I guess designs, I am loving these. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with these, but when I saw them, I, like most, had to get one of each. Yes, I did. Look at these. Oh my goodness, there was a red truck too that I didn't show you. Keep your eye open for them. I am also seeing another end cap that has more of these chalkboard signs. This one's a little different. I love that it has these tags at the bottom, but not sure I'm loving the design but look at how cool all of these yard stakes are and these wood signs. Oh my word, you buy a piece of wood like this at Joann's or Michael's and it's pretty expensive. It's not $1.25. And so yeah, those are a fun new find. This end cap had a lot of really neat wood and yeah, you see burlap over there, but we'll get to that in a second. These wood ornament discs are awesome. And what is this here? Oh, an artist canvas. Don't really need that. But let's look down here. Yep, we have got some arrows. I had black and white ones before, but I'm loving that they have the brown and tan now. Picked up a couple of those. Those will be in a DIY this Friday. But I'm loving these burlap shaped flags, these banners. You're getting 4.8 feet, six banners on a strand, and they came in three different styles. I picked up two of each, not gonna lie. I did, put them in my stash, not sure why. The beads here are awesome. Oh wait, what are these? Oh yes, ceramic wall plaques. They came in a couple of different styles. Didn't pick up any until, yep, I saw this house. That house one is super cute. And again, finding more of the wood beads, with wood tags in several different colors, great new additions to the Dollar Tree. Oh wait, look at these ceramic houses that you can paint. Those are fun. I gotta say, the wall decor plaques that Dollar Tree is rolling out is ridiculous. It is making it hard to repurpose them because I'm loving the style of them. Really? Are they trying to put us DIYers out of business? Because look at how cute these plaques are. This milk jug, adorable, but I love the shape, so I'm gonna pick up a couple. They've got some great bathroom decor. They've got more of these keychain decors, but these farmhouse ones, especially these ones on the breadboard. Oh my word, I love them, and I love the shape of those. What is this one? Oh, oh. It, there it is. Oh, that is super cute. I think I need that one. I love these. There are so many new plaques 
Down here at the bottom, they've got these picture folders that are great for end tables, side tables, or shelving units. And I am loving this farmhouse style too. The black, the white, and the green. Such fun pieces. There really is almost a style for everyone. Look at how, oh my goodness, I love this with the burlap parts. Yeah, that's coming home with me. These caught my eye. These are a glass dropper bottle by Crafter Square to come in a pack. I don't know why, but I think that this is a really cool find. Yeah, so keep your eye open for them. They might be useful. I didn't pick any up though. I'm trying to cut down on my stash. I also found these wood picks. They had different shapes. I found a star. I feel like I found hex. Is hexagon? Hexagon? Octagon is eight. So this is hex. I think it's hex. And a heart. Yeah, pretty cool little finds. Also found this two pack of wall shelves. In the past, we have seen the longer rectangular one. Now we've got a two pack here of smaller ones. And these wall decor signs that are so fun and festive for spring. I love the feel of these. I feel like nothing has to be done to these. These would look really cool on like a collage wall or something. Nonetheless, kind of a cool find. I thought this was pretty cool. Wasn't too keen on the flower, but I feel like the round shape itself could be useful or repurposed. Also found these wall decor hooks. Two different sayings, bless this house and simply blessed. Great for keys or just a coat hook. And as I looked, I saw this style here of the gather and hello with the wood and the metal and then this angel caught my eye. I love that. My sister loved angels like this. And I'm seeing more of these hooks in this funky color here. Kind of a pewter? I don't know. How about some new table decor? Some farmhouse table decor with this windmill. I found it in home and love. Such fun little finds, accent pieces to add to an end table or maybe a shelving unit. Have you seen these reed diffuser bamboo sticks? This is so cool. You can make your own diffusers. Mother's Day is coming up. This might be a good gift to give DIY your own diffuser. Speaking of diffusers, if you don't want to DIY your own, well, look at the new line that Dollar Tree has rolled out. So many different scents. Guaranteed one for everybody. And there's a small St. Patrick's Day section here with this aluminum shamrock with a letter in it. Picked one of these up for a DIY. Dollar Tree's rolling out some of their Easter DIY and decor stuff. It's looking like this might have been some of the stuff from last year that they had in their storage, but nonetheless, I'm assuming in the next couple weeks they're going to have a lot out and I'm seeing an egg wreath form that I must have. On another aisle, I am seeing a large section for Dollar Tree's Fairy Garden um, line. They have been coming out with a new line per season or for every season. Look at how big this is. It used to be just a small little section. It has grown probably because everybody is loving these pieces, but look at how cute all of this is. And I'm sure it's only gonna grow because people are gonna love this and snatch it all up. Yeah, start a fairy garden. Why not? Dollar Tree's got it all. $1.25. Oh, the phone's ringing. Be right back. This caught my eye as I was walking by. This new Buffalo Check Office Supply organizational stuff. You've got a business card holder. You've got something here for your paper clips and your pen. They've got organizing bins over here. Loving these. It all kind of coordinates. There is a gray set as well and a pen holder. Heading on over to the kitchen section. Yep, they've got some new gray utensils that are taking the place of the white and gray marbled ones. Love the simplicity of these. And I found these ice molds for come in a pack. Dollar Tree used to have a blue set that kind of snapped together. I am loving that these are individual ones. Makes it easier to pop out of the mold. Pick some up. It's getting to be that time, spring, where you might want to eat out, go to the park. Well, you need these to hold a tablecloth on and they work amazing. 
must-haves for sure. Another one of my favorite things are these sponge holders from Dollar Tree. They're not only good for sponges, but they are great for soap bars in your shower. Yeah, put some in your kitchen sink or in your shower. How about these mesh strainers? These are great for your sink to stop things from going down the drain that you don't want to go down. I've got a bathroom sink that's missing the stopper and these are perfect for that. If you're like me and you love Werther's Originals, yep, the Caramel Applefield is my absolute favorite. Dollar Tree is the place to get them because look at the selection of Werther's Originals that they have. And blow pops are a must for Ray because they help with the nausea during and after his infusions. Well, that was a fun trip. I definitely found some inspiration. These are items that I can't wait to incorporate into some of my upcoming DIYs, so you'll wanna stay tuned for those. I hope you all enjoyed today's Come With Me to Dollar Tree. If you're looking for some inspiration for some DIYing, make sure to click on the video right over here and it'll take you to some of my past favorites. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy. But most of all, you know what I'm gonna say. Stay positive, please, because I sure am.